So when a laser beam propagates through an optical system, it's aberrated by the optical system, but we tend not to use terms like focus and spherical so much for uh, the effect on the laser beam. We, we tend to describe the effect of the aberrations on a laser beam uh, in terms of the m squared of that beam. And a perfect Gaussian is defined as having an m squared of 1, and then any other beam diffracts faster than that perfect Gaussian. And so we want to target the m squared of a beam to be 1 in order to get the best beam quality. ZMAX has that calculation built right into it, and we can use it as an optimization target. So here in the merit function editor, I'm simply going to insert a new operand, and I'm going to type the operand. Pop D, which stands for Physical Optics Propagation Data. I want to compute this on the final surface, which is surface number 5. And if I check in the manual, I'll see that the M squared is returned as data item 25. So if I just update the merit function, you'll see that the M squared of this beam has got a value of, a, of 1.013, which is not at all bad, but it's equally you know, not, not great. And we really want to target it to be exactly 1, and I'll probably give it a weight of about 5, because I really, because the, the Gaussian beam size isn't going to change significantly. Uh, what I want to have changing is the M squared, I want to get that number down. So with that added to my merit function, I'm going to go click on Optimize. And I'm just going to start the optimization now. And you can see the phase and the M squared here as the optimization proceeds. So the M squared is going down to 0 0.109, 0 005. And it will stay at about 0 0.005. You can see here the amplitude of the phase is uh, is varying. Sometimes we get slightly higher peaks, but remember there's very little intensity where those peaks are. Uh, the the what's really important to the m squared is the phase where the beam is brightest, which is here. So let me just stop that, and you can see now that we've got an m squared value of 1.004 for this singlet lens. And that's a, a, you know, a decent improvement simply for optimizing for a, a few more seconds uh, to, to drive the M squared of the output beam as low as possible.